Matt here again. Today I want to go over these shots of IFBB Pro Juan Morel, who actually is competing in both the New York Pro and the Arnold Classic Brazil. These shots here were posted March 11th by Juan on the MuscularDevelopment.com forums. He is in these photos 9 weeks out from the New York Pro and 12 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Brazil. I think that these shots are just really great poses that illustrate, to me, what I think Juan's greatest genetic gift is, which would be his wide frame. Juan actually had been competing at a time at 245 pounds and to me looked 265. And to have the genetic advantage to look 20 pounds heavier than you are, I think that's a great gift in bodybuilding. I think that that comes in part due to a very small waist, so he's not carrying a lot of weight around the midsection, I wouldn't say. It's just a very tiny waist. And the muscles that really count the most, I think, are clearly visible. Like everybody sort of looks at the upper body, the arms, the chest, for sure. These are important areas. He really doesn't have any weak points for that matter. It would be hard to nitpick. His genetic shape in all the muscles is excellent. So he just has a lot going for him. And to have the gift of being able to look heavier than he is for pro bodybuilding, that's extremely good. This photo was posted March 20th. This was seven weeks out from the New York Pro and 10 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Brazil. It's kind of a maybe a classical way to do the frontal biceps pose. Somebody on the musculodevelopment.com forums did state that one would be wise to hit the shot this way. I'm not so sure. I actually think I prefer the conventional shot in all cases and, in one, and for one as well. That's the conventional front double biceps and to me that's the way I think one should hit it. Really just has great lats. I think that where his lats sort of begin and they, they don't jut out. They, they kind of taper very carefully I would say like kind of very seamlessly. I think this is the way that one should hit the pose, just the traditional way. I think he has great lats, they don't just jut out, they sort of blend very smoothly into the rest of his physique, and I, I, they aren't high, I mean, granted, this, this, I've seen lower lats for sure on some bodybuilders, but his are just a really good shape that just kind of jump out at you, there's a lot of pop to them, his legs are big, his calves, his arms, his upper body even in this frontal biceps pose isn't diminished rather than some bodybuilders who lose, sort of lose their chest have a tendency to do that in the frontal biceps in Juan's case that's not the that's just not it it's a huge chest even when his arms are raised like this great front lat spread great wide delts thick chest arms and forearms are in great proportion i think there's a lot of balance between his muscle groups i think that these these are the types of proportions that i think a bodybuilder should have I feel that some bodybuilders, maybe their arms are too big for the rest of their physique or their shoulders dwarf their chest. I think even Phil Heath has or had this issue where his shoulders and arms sort of dwarfed his chest. That's sort of been alleviated lately as he's just gotten bigger all around. But with one, he never had that and it isn't the case here. It seems like things are in pretty good proportion. His chest is very wide and his shoulders are huge as well, but they aren't so big that they dwarf his chest in any way. And same goes for his arms. His forearms are good and you can see them even when they're not posed from the front in this case, even the back of his forearms are huge. Side chest shot, great shot, good arms. You can see his triceps development. Again, his shoulders and chest are in balance. His hamstrings are hanging, but not necessarily in a way that brings all the attention to his lower body. From head to toe, it's just a lot of balance here. Everything is big, but it's sort of proportioned in a way where the disparity between, say, the size of his wrist and the size of his forearm and the size of his biceps is very much, I think, in a sort of a, a classical bodybuilding sort of ideal, even though he is competing in, and competitive in today's bodybuilding scene with mass monsters, which is something very unique, along with keeping a very small waist. This back double bicep shot goes to show how wide Juan's back is. It goes to show how big his shoulders are, his, his calves even. I mean, I'm not sure if people would call them a weakness, I know there's definitely bodybuilders that have bigger calves, but I don't think they're particularly weak, so it's as if one doesn't really have any weaknesses at all. This front relax shot, I think, highlights most of all to me is his small waist. I'm not sure what his waist measurement is, but it's a tiny waist and relative to his huge legs and wide frame, this is excellent. It might be also to some extent that Juan has the same thing that Sergio Oliva had, which is a small head. I'm not sure if that is the case, but in Sergio's case, that was true. His head wasn't that big, and it actually made him look all that much more wide. I think Orville Burke is another bodybuilder that sort of had a small head and made him look a little bit wider as a result. As far as I know, and I have seen him in person, he is a pretty wide guy, so I think he's just wide all around. I'll actually leave it at this shot. This is one from Monday, March 16th, 2015. This is eight weeks out from the New York Pro and 11 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Brazil. It's a pretty cool close-up of his physique and goes to show how wide he is, how big his delts are, arms, chest, his waist, how small it is. I mean, his legs aren't visible, but it's truly a unique physique and unique in the sense that he's both, in a way, classically proportioned and huge. And that's why he will be incredibly competitive. The only thing Juan needs to do 
is coming to contest and condition. He sure with time you sort of gradually improve on size, you gradually improve on your conditioning and so on. You you make refinements, you get your arms a little bigger, whatever the case may be. But one doesn't need any more muscle to be competitive at the highest levels of bodybuilding. He just needs to come in on point. So those are my comments regarding one's weeks out photos. Any comments, please leave them below. And once again, thank you for watching.